Monkey time. Monkey time, folks! Welcome to the Monkey Hour! Let's see if we can't get some sort of background music. But no, I haven't made an extended cut. It'll stop playing after three minutes. <laughs> You know what? You guys can just enjoy the beautiful sound of my voice. Folks, welcome to Monkey Time. Today, yes, we got a time machine. That's right. We've got a state-sanctioned state Steins Gate time machine. Folks, during my 24-hour live stream all those years ago, I was supposed to eat this. Great. You covered it up. You motherfucker. I don't care that you were a huge fan. You ruined it. It's probably my fault. I was supposed to eat this chicken nuggets lunchable, but then I was full and I did not eat it. So today we're going to eat and review this chicken nuggets lunchable. Now here's what it comes with. Let's see what your boy is gonna be feasting on today. These are called the chicken dunks. They come with Oscar Mayer breaded chicken, white meat only. None of that black meat, disgusting. You only want the white meat. Oscar Mayer knows how it's done. You got ketchup. With starch added. I don't know why they include that as a bullet point as if that is something that will be appetizing. I don't know a whole lot about starch. But hearing that it was added to my ketchup does not make me want to eat it more. I'm actually not a big fan of ketchup. It's probably at the bottom of the list of things that I want to dip my nuggies into. More of a uh, hot mustard, uh, buffalo, barbecue kind of guy. But since we're reviewing this Lunchable, we don't get a cheat. I'm not going to go fish out some barbecue sauce from my, my cupboard or my fridge. I'm going to eat this disgusting ketchup with starch added. Then we've got, here's the only thing I'm looking forward to, folks. The Capri Sun. The Capri Sun fruit punch flavor, unfortunately, it does not last as long as when we were kids. It will probably be down after two manly drinks, because I'm a very manly drinker. And finally... You got a Nerds Candy. Now, are five nuggets, a Capri Sun, and a Nerds Candy worth? A desk microwave? The next step towards shooting up your school. <laughs> Thank you, Nico Angel. <laughs> um, are all... Are five nuggies, ketchup, Capri Sun, and Nerds, is that worth the, the I assume, the 250 I paid for this? Absolutely fucking not. What a ripoff. Now, let's see. What... Should we go through the nutritional information? Are you guys really that curious about this Lunchable? I think you are. The chat looks like they're loving it. It's not Dino Nuggies, don't eat it. Uh-oh. Now, this is 270 calories of pure... Um, <laughs> I was going to say man-child, but I think manlet also works. Manlet goodness. <laughs> only only seven, 70 calories from, from fat. Wow, what a deal. Now, I was going to microwave it i grabbed my microwave out of my bathroom that's not a joke but right here it says fun to eat no need to heat dip nuggies into sauce and enjoy but there's also the option to heat and eat place nuggies on a microwavable plate which we have right here uh or paper towel we also have that microwave on high for 15 seconds and then dip into the sauce let's let's break this bad boy open and see what we're working with here What's the full title of the stream? You can't read it. Manchild reviews Chicken Nuggets Lunchable, then plays Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist on challenge mode while sipping LaCroix and wearing a propeller hat. Let's break this bad boy out. All right. All right. They don't, they don't skimp you on the nuggies. Look at that. Five beautiful nuggies. They were in a pentagram. Uh, now they're falling down from gravity. Uh, you got some delicious starch, uh, starch with uh, ketchup added. I assume that's what they meant. And a uh, box of nerds. I can't wait. You didn't appreciate my $1 donation. I spent years saving that up. I don't care if I unicorn up your <laughs> lunchable reveal. This means war. Frozen puppet. Let's hope that these nuggies are not frozen like your puppet is. Let's, uh, let's get going on heating these bad boys up. 15 seconds in the microwave. I don't know. I've never had 15 seconds of downtime on a stream, so I don't know how we're going to fill that time, but I guess we can try our best. Now, you want to place the nuggies in a circle like this so that they get evenly heated. You also want to get a, a fancy microwave like this one. I think it was $25 at Walmart or so. That has a rotating plate on the inside. So you really, 
you really get the full spin. I guess you guys won't be able to see that. I can't open the door all the way here. But let's place these bad boys into that microwave, or as I call it, the nuggy wave, because what else are you going to use it for? You want to hit that 15 seconds, fam. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the mic right up to it so you can hear it cook. You want to hear this shit cook. Could it be? Could it be? 15 seconds is enough to make the most delicious microwave nuggies ever. Let's find out. That's right. Nuggie wave is the name of this musical genre. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God, that. It smells like you ate KFC and threw the bucket in the garbage, and two days later... The garbage is reeking of old, moldy, greasy KFC. That's what it smells like. Oh, that's good. And that's going to be good, some good stuff. But before, we're supposed to let the nuggies cool down a little bit. And speaking of cooling down, we have this delicious Capri Sun pouch. Now, I don't want to get too lewd on this show because it is for children, of course. But uh, have you guys ever seen Full Penetration? I'm going to show full penetration on my Twitch stream. You guys ready for full penetration? Here we go. Everybody, thank you for subscribing, but I'm trying to show full penetration, please. Okay. Okay, you see that? You know, look, like she's clearly asking for it. She's clearly asking for this yellow rod. Here we go. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's the good stuff. Let's see if it gets any better. Ah, oh, God, that's good. Oh, I love giving it the suck after full penetration. God damn it. Oh, oh man, I'm going to gargle it. I'm such a naughty, kinky boy. I'm going to gargle this shit. Oh, man. I'd love to open my mouth and show it to you on my tongue, but I'm afraid it would fall out. It's just too delicious. God damn. Okay. Let's try out this starchy ketchup. Oh, man. Extra starch, please. Delicious. I can't wait. Hopefully the nuggies are cooled. Otherwise, I'm going to have to sue for intense burns, folks. Does your sister know the feeling of uh, penetration? Yeah, me and my sis would eat uh, uh, nuggies with Capri, Capri Suns all the time. Me and my sister were, were well-versed in, in full penetration. I, sometimes me and my sister would do double penetration. We would both have a Capri Sun and just at the same time stick that straw in there. God, me and my sister loved double penetration. Let's, uh, let's not mince words. Let's mince some nuggies. Here we go. You want to see some hot dipping action, folks? I'm going right in. This does not feel warm enough. I think the 15 seconds was not enough, but I have to, I have to trust the box. Here we go. Starchy ketchup. Here we go. Okay. Okay, it's very cold. Should have been heated up a lot longer. Honestly, the chicken itself... It's not that bad. It's it's edible. It's uh, it's nowhere near like a McDonald's nuggie. Um, it's not crispy. It's very uh, moist. The uh, the breading. Let's heat this bad boy up a little bit longer, cause uh, Monkey likes it hot. Let's see if another ten seconds can't save the day. You legit ate 20 BK nuggets today. Welcome to a day in my life. 800 bits if you stuff the remaining four nuggies into your mouth at once. That is not a proper review. But that would buy me many more nuggies if you did that. All right. Let's see if these are hot enough now. 
Who do you think are less valued by society, manlets like you or Amazonians like me? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't think either of us are valued in society, Princess Maria. Okay. This better be warm enough or else somebody's getting hurt and it's not going to be me. Okay, it's a, it's a bit warmer, obviously, but it's still way too fucking cold. I like how I have microwaved it twice as long as they recommended, and it is still cold and damp. I imagine the dampness we can't do much about. But actually, this is um, it's not a super high-quality nug, but it's an acceptable nug. It's acceptable. This is edible. I could eat this. Let's, uh, let's throw that bad boy in the microwave. <laughs> Come on. If I am a six-year-old kid... And I have some sort of allergy, and I can't eat lunch at school one day, and my mom packed me this shit instead. I think I'd be pretty happy with that. I really do. You get the Capri Sun, you get to penetrate in front of all your first grade classmates. Delicious. Uh, the only problem would be, at school, you are not going to have a microwave, so you would have to eat these when they're freezing cold, or at least lukewarm sitting in your backpack all day let's go the starchy ketchup um i would say more starch i think the starch is really where the flavor comes from less ketchup um less sugar less uh, tomato i'd say if you can increase the starch by like 56 percent, i think it'd be perfect mm. and that's a spicy anagi they're not actually spicy, though. There's there's no spice in this in the spreading. Not bad. I don't I don't really know what else to say. It's not bad. Let's just uh let's chow down, read some of the chats. I think I had some donations I missed. How rude of me. Do wish I was dipping in something other than starchy ketchup, but what are you going to do? <laughs> What's up, you little F slur? I've been a fan of you for ages. I was devastated when you got taken down, though you were probably more so. Yeah, that's safe to say. <laughs> anyway, loved your stuff, man. Please notice me, Monkey Chan. Hashtag Elliot Rogers is still alive. Hashtag Monkey Likes Kids. <laughs> Perfect. Oh boy. Princess Marie is on a roll today. Oh man. Do you think if Quentin and Asperger wanted to make an alliance to take you down, would Asperger have to show his trans support by showing he can treat trans women the same as cis women? No, I don't think Asperger could fight a trans woman because a trans woman has a lot more muscle mass than a traditional woman. I think uh, Asperger only wants to get into fights with people who were born as a woman, have less physical strength, and are probably much uh, shorter than him. Uh, I think any trans woman on earth would fucking beat the shit out of Asperger, so he could not treat them the same. He could not. Let's go. Have I seen Lost? I have not. It's on my list of many shows that I have not yet watched. Nice hat. Thank you. <laughs> Based Jones takes down entire lunchable meal solo diamond. <laughs> what is this like? A, like a <laughs> wings of redemption stream? I'm a I'm a solo diamond in rainbow. All right, that's it for the protein. No more no more protein. Now we move on to the nerds dessert, folks. I'm a nerd. 
He's a nerd. She's a nerd. We're all nerds, eh? One dollar. Quote from S Stefan Molyneux. I don't know how to pronounce this shit. Who the fuck is that? Let's go. Let's go. Nerdy time, baby. Now, a true gentleman knows that the best way to eat nerds is to offer them to a female companion. Say, hey, baby. How about I show you my pink, and then tonight you show me your pink. It has a 95% success rate. Should we all go subscribe to PewDiePie? Uh, if you haven't already, I don't know what you're doing. But uh, there are many ways to eat a box of nerds. You could dump the whole box into your mouth at once, or you could eat them one at a time. There are about, I'd say, 2 million of them in here right now. So if we eat them one at a time, it will take quite a bit. So I would like the chat to tell me, should I eat these one at a time, or should I dump the whole box in my mouth? You really want to savor the flavor of each individual nerd, but it's up to the chat. How, how, should we, uh, how should we consume this? Tomas says we should chug, swallow, mm -hmm. one at a time, three at a time. <laughs> you prefer white or dark meat in your mouth? When it comes to fried chicken with the bone in it, I'm a dark meat guy. I like the legs. I like the uh, uh, thighs, the, uh, the white meat, you know, the, the breast, and the – what's the other piece of white meat? White meat is usually too dry, and the, the dark meat, you might get less meat on it, but it's much better meat. Oh, yeah, it's uh, the wing the wing and the breast, yeah. Yeah, if I'm getting... I'll eat chicken wings all fucking day, but if I'm going to, like, uh, Popeye's or something like that, I'm going with the dark meat, baby. All right, here we go. Let's, uh, let's deep throat this bad boy. Ah, oh, oh. <laughs> Ah, look up. Ah. <laughs> All right, welcome to um shit what's that what's that shit called when you make noise in a microphone really quiet? We're going to do a ASMR nerds in your mouth. I hope that sounds really good in your ears. Let's crunch this up. That's the good stuff, folks. Mmm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Got a lot of people grossed out in the chat. Perfect. <laughs> ASMR stands for a stupid monkey uh, eats nerds. <laughs> they really fucked up the end of that one. <laughs> All right, and once we finish our Capri Sun, that will be it for the Lunchable Nuggie. So what's my final take? I'm not going to lie, folks. I thought it was going to be absolutely disgusting when Twitter forced me to buy this the other day. I was very upset. Just by the picture, I thought the nugs were going to be the lowest quality possible. But after tripling down on the recommended microwave time, they were actually warm enough to enjoy, and they weren't bad. I would say pack your own dipping sauce, unless you really like starchy ketchup. And uh, otherwise, I'd say just get Burger King nuggets. I'd, I'd say these are slightly worse than the Burger King nuggets, which are already already not that good. <laughs> But for the price, they cannot be beat. Uh, you could probably buy a 10-piece nugget at Burger King um, and a drink at Burger King and maybe just find some nerds from leftover Halloween candy. And it would be cheaper than this. So if you're buying it for your 6-year-old, they'll probably get full off of it because 6-year-olds have tiny, stupid stomachs. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you could, you could do much better, but it's not as bad as it looks. Do I like Carl's Jr.? Uh, here it's called Hardee's, and I do really like it. I think it's really good. All right, let's see if I can't set up some Yu-Gi-Oh! 
I'm going to set up this Yu-Gi-Oh, read those donations, and then uh, we're going to get our game on, folks. Lost a nerd. Let's see if I remember how to set this shit up. It's been a long time since we played Yu Gi Oh! on stream. Game on! Get your game on! Come on, you better play your cards right! Come on and get your game. 207 hours in this game. <laughs> I haven't played since Valentine's Day. Let's go. How did the nerds ASMR sound? Did that sound good? Did that sound good in your ear holes? I hope so. Alright, how do I turn on a game? Could we just do display capture for this bad boy? Would that be it? Could that solve life's mysteries? Yeah, good enough, I think. Yeah, sure. You just gotta get me back. Where did I go? That's the question. <laughs> Alright, go up. Go up. There's me. I think we're gonna go hide maybe over here. Uh-oh, screen's glitching out! It doesn't like this! We're almost there. This is a professional show, folks. Good enough. Good enough. Why are you glitching, bitch? Why are you glitching? Alright. It doesn't want to do display capture. Maybe it wants to do game capture. I guess we'll do that instead. It's a very professional... Show that we're doing here, folks. Wait, what the hell? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> doing Is It Kino on the Censored Eleven? I would love to. I'm very confused. Oh, now it's on game capture. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, I, I, t I, I turn off the display capture, but it's still on the screen, and I'm thinking, what in the fuck is going on? <laughs> but, uh, okay, now we did it. Let's put in our headphones. But why is the screen still fucking up for me? That's annoying. Maybe it's one of those things I have to learn to live with. Do I have this working? Yeah, I do. Let's play with the control. Ah, uh, probably fine. So the challenges we are going to do are, uh, I call it the Iron Man Challenge, where I have to try to defeat every challenge duel in a row using the same deck. We have not had any success at this ever. <laughs> All right, let's read all these donations real quick. My screen is still glitching up like a motherfucker. Look at this shit. Look. Why is my screen glitching up, but it looks good in the game capture? This is fucking bullshit. This is complete bullshit. I don't want to look at this. It's never done this before. <laughs> anyway. Yo, Mumkey, real shit. You're one of my favorite content creators. Can't really give much since I'm fucking broke, but here, spend this dollar wisely. Oh, I will. I'm going to buy more Lunchables with it. <laughs> I wanted to make one other point. Did you ever think you would be passed by Jeremiah the Gamer? Are you sad he hasn't given you a shout out yet? Like honestly, he has 10,000 uh, of your fans. Also, if you ever get big on YouTube, I'm gonna make sure to branch off. If I ever get big on YouTube, I'm gonna be, okay. Uh, Jeremiah the Gamer has not passed me. I still have like 40,000 subscribers, folks. He, Jeremiah will never defeat me, never. There's no way I'd survive against the drunken burger. I was probably weaker than him even before I transitioned, and the estrogen just made me weaker. Well, you've got about five inches on him, so uh, I think you could do it. I think you can manage. 
We need a Lunchables review series. Yeah, we could do that. I could, I could try every Lunchable. I really don't like the pizza one, so that'll be fun. All right, I guess I'm just going to have to learn to live with uh, the screen looking all fucky. Yeah, let's see if you guys can hear the game a little better. Maybe that'll be too loud. All right, let's start off with Alistair. We're using the Stardust Assault deck. Pizza one is trash, even if you microwave it well. That'll be for me to decide. All right, there's got to be... I know it looks fine for you guys, but there's got to be a way for me to fix this. I'm just going to fuck around a little bit. Okay. Game capture. Where are you at? Let's go. Can I uh, exit out of the game? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just let me stop playing. <laughs> Close! Get the hell out of here. End that task. End it. You're supposed to microwave the pizza ones? I mean, I don't. you could probably put anything you want in the microwave. <laughs> I don't think there's any set rules here. <laughs> Okay, now will you work? Quick question, I'm a big fan of Diary of a Wimpy Kid meme community, and while I won't ask for an interview right now, I want to know if you're legally allowed to talk about... Uh, <laughs> has history shown that I've talked about it a lot? What would your guess be? What would be your best guess? All right. Let's see. There we go. And it's not glitching. I think we did it. All right, let's do this shit. Let's do this shit. Starting off with Alistair. He's using a deck that is specifically strong against dragons, and we're using a dragon deck, so I think we stand a ghost of a chance, folks. <laughs> I think we stand a ghost of a chance. Let's go rock. Is it glitching again? How could this be? Where can one find the best nuggies? Um, I'm partial to McDonald's nuggies, but that might be because they put uh, <laughs> chemicals in there that addict you. <laughs> so who could say, okay, you never want to draw a salt beast ever, so we're off to a good start. Let's go for uh, our um, assault mode, I mean. Assault beast is good to draw. Let's activate his effect to get the trap that we need out of our deck. And uh, we don't have a way to summon Stardust this turn, so let's just throw down, I guess, this guy. Let's see what Alistair's up to. We're off to not a great start, folks. I'm not going to lie. How many pounds of nuggies do you eat a week? <laughs> I, I wouldn't even know where to begin measuring it in pounds. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe half a pound? I have n I have no clue. I can't say. I don't know. All right. Looks like we're going to... If we want to survive this duel, we're going to have to go into defenses. So uh, let's dark door this shit. It'll fuck us over later, but it'll protect us for now. You can only attack once per turn. Eh, he didn't even summon anyway, so it was all for nothing. It's a little loud in my ear, so I'll only use one of your butt for now. Damn it, come on! We need a normal four-star monster. Top runner, you better survive. We're gonna mirror force whatever attack he's hitting us with. And if we don't draw a four-star monster next turn, we are in a world of trouble. All right, I guess we're going to waste Mirror Force on that guy. Just so we hold on to our monster. God, this is a good Capri Sun. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Oh, great. <laughs> Let's Mirror Force again. <laughs> At least give me a Scrap Iron to work with my Dark Door. Buy some good shit with that $1. Of course, fam. All right, here we go again. <laughs> Oh, well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? <laughs> How are you still drinking? And I'm taking very little sips. I want to enjoy 
great, great. We get the four star monster we needed right after we get Dark Hole. I think we're just gonna take a shit ton of damage for now, folks. But it's okay, because as soon as we draw another tuner, he is in Pain City, population him. Big ups, Liquid Ocampo. I, I don't know what you mean. I don't know what that means. Great. We're having some horrid luck on the very first duel, aren't we? Uh, I blame myself. I made a shitty deck, I gotta say. Here comes the Buster Blader, huh? Uh, it's a special Buster Blader. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Well, might not be able to, de to defeat him. The only way to stop this guy dead in his tracks is to summon this motherfucker on your first turn. And I haven't been able to do that in the last six turns. <laughs> I think I'm fucked. I think we're gonna have to, s to start over already. This card cannot attack directly. It gains 1,000. Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. We can Regeki that shit. Great. Come on. Give me a monster deck. You're screwing me over here. You don't have a roastio of a chance, monkey? Yeah, draw your buster blader. I don't give a shit. Oh, wow. Nice. You're gonna attack with 100 attack? This is pathetic. Come on, deck. Cook a brother up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, here it comes again. Shit. Shit. This wouldn't be happening if I received literally any good card. Come on. Mods, I'm sorry. Uh, well. Okay. Change all dragon-type monsters your opponent controls to defense position. Also, dragon-type monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects. So we're going to have to XZ summon a non-dragon. Do we have any options that can actually beat that? Dragon, dragon. This guy, we could do number 101. That's our only... It's sad when the only option you have is that, but I think we'll screw him over. Let's summon the tin goldfish. Activate his effect to special summon Goblinberg. And then we can summon Ark. The only card I think I have right now that can even halfway save us. Uh, maybe Gaga got Cowboy, but I think Ark is better. Here we go, XZ Summon. One of the cheapest cards in the game, baby. Now let's bust out that LaCroix so we can make the title of the stream come to, come to life. Here we go, activate his effect. Throwing off both of our, I guess, what, attachments to absorb his monster. Now he's all out of cards on the field and in his hand, Allister. Alistair, I think you're Ali Dunster. Dumpster. Fire is what this duel is for you. 2100 big ones. Yo, monkey. Did you watch Codename Kids Next Door growing up? I just rewatched Operation Food Fight and it's pretty gino. This episode got me into Guar. Uh, I did watch Codename Kids Next Door. I actually have an old anime review about that. You can go check out on my website, monkeyjones.tv. I don't know what Guar is. I, I I don't remember that. You're gonna have to remind me on that one. Okay, he got a strong monster, even though he only drew one card, which is great. I wasn't paying attention to how he did it. <laughs> we survived the attack, but take damage. Fuck. Fuck. We're gonna lose this one. We are fucked. We are fucked. <laughs> the game did us no favors. God damn it. Where's your My Twisted World videos? On my website, monkeyjones.tv. Nobody's stopping you from going to it. Big fat link down in the description of this stream. Literally nobody on earth is stopping you from watching those right now. Nobody. They're right there. You can just go watch them for free. Ooh, what is this card doing? Hold up, fam. Target one of the equip it once per turn. You can send one monster card you control that is equipped to this card to the graveyard. Destroy all monsters your opponent controls with. Okay, with the same type. Okay, I see. Well, we're fucked. Uh, GG fam, GG. My deck didn't give me a goddamn thing. <laughs> and I went through 15 of the cards. How could I have been so foolish to make this deck? <laughs> all right. Well, you're not gonna win this turn unless you destroy my dark door.
Oh yeah, use more effects. You could use them. <laughs> you weren't doing so well up until this point. If he boosted the attack of his monster, he wins. Just do it. Come on. Okay, yeah, he boosted the attack of his monster. Okay, we're not done yet. We can call the haunted to take less damage, but... Oh, the game did us no favors tonight. Can't believe we're losing on the very first duel. Ow. Oh, God. Come on, give me literally anything. Nothing. Cucked again. Just fucking kill me, fam. I don't give a shit. No, no, we can survive in defense mode. If I draw scrap iron, I will fucking win. Come on, there's three of them in there. Let's pop open this bad boy and get to work. Fill up your whole back row. I don't give a shit. Fill up your whole back row with my monsters. It's fine. That means no spells and traps for you. Oh. What? What's he doing? Why would he just... Ah, oh, because he's going to summon the... I don't know. I would have kept that other one if I were you, guy. This thing's only good against dragons. That other thing could destroy three types of my monsters instantly. Ah, great. Asperger's nickname in high school, the Assault Beast. Well... <laughs> uh, damn it. Oh, boy! Don't worry, Deck. I'm sure you, uh... <laughs> Even though we have to win like 130 duels in a row, I doubt you'll ever play this poorly again. I'm sure you'll do fine. Oh, he does piercing damage. I didn't even know that. Would have been better off putting him in attack mode. We're down to 100 points. Awesome. We lost. Okay, GG. Deck, hook me up this time. Don't fuck me over. Passage was a boring ass book, but I'm digging the series. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out! That's the opposite of the opinion I'll allow you to have. Get the fuck out. Alright, still far from a good hand, but it'll work. Never hurts to summon Neospatian Grand Mole, so let's just do it! See if he has the balls to special summon his big shit when I got Grand Mole on the field. Why not build your own deck live? This is my own deck, and I already built it. Why would I build another one? <laughs> what Pokemon game is this? Legacy of the Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, finally something we can work with here, folks. Here we go. Goblinburg. Activate his effect. Uh, let's go for uh, Bree Synchron this time. So now we can summon the Stardust Dragon. The whole point of this deck is to summon the Stardust Dragon. Ideally on the first turn, but second turn I'll take it too. But we're not going to destroy his monster. We're going to pop it back into his hand with the Neospatian Grand Mole. Fuck you. Pop them both right back. And that means he's wide open for a 3100 attack. Direct attack. Kabumi. Kabumi versus Zumi. Your move, Alistair. You better summon your blade shit right now. Oh, you're gonna... We're gonna have a repeat of last turn? That's fine by me. Looks like I'm gonna win. Because Grand Mole will just keep popping your shit back into your hand, and Stardust will keep attacking you directly. We only need to do, do this one more time, and we win, Alistair! You better have a good-ass turn. Yo, move. Yu-Gi-Oh! Are, are my bits turned off? Those bits didn't come through. Let's take a look. Okay, we win. Yeah, he lost. He didn't play even a spell or a trap or anything. Bits. Do we have bits turned off? No, they're enabled. I don't know. Huh, I don't know then. Oh, well. Yeah, mole cuck. He's getting cucked by the grand mole. You done, son. It's over. You lose. Even though I just lost to you. <laughs> Finish him off, Stardust. 
All right, deck. One down, over a hundred to go. So far, so good. Here we go. Arcana uses Dark Magician deck. Should be more fun. A more fun matchup than the guy who was built to defeat me. Man, that's kind of glitching a little bit. What's going on? If you post what cards you have in this game, I have like over 8,000 uh, different cards. How in the fuck do you want me to do that? What is your proposal here? I don't need it. Look, I'm summoning my best guy so quickly. I'll summon the Tin Goldfish and activate his ability to special summon Rose, Warrior of Revenge. But wait, there's more. I will then synchro summon them together to summon the Stardust Dragon. Did you know Star Wars wasn't actually filmed in space? I don't believe you. You're full of it. If you think that's bad, just wait until his uh, he, he evolves into his friend. Assault mode. But we'll save that for later, Arcana. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> I missed the but wait, there's more. All right, bring it on. Reinforce your army. I'm not scared. You got nothing on me. You got nothing. Reinforce the army all you want. None of your cards can defeat Stardust. He's the king. You can't just fill your deck with random cards, only five of which have any synergy. <laughs> You're fucking retarded if you don't think this deck has synergy. The whole deck is built to summon Stardust, other than, like, the one grand mole. <laughs> Lofaza, I guarantee you I'd fucking destroy you in Yu-Gi-Oh! So stop talking shit. You don't stand a ghost of a chance. I believe in the heart of the cards. You're over here trying to pull some fucking Kaiba Corp bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Nobody asked you. Joey Wheeler would beat Kaiba literally any day of the week. They just never got a fair fight. Let's go. All right, let's see if we can't win this turn. I doubt it if he has a good spell or trap, but we're, we're just going to go for it. We're just going to go for it for fun. We're going to activate Regeki to destroy his monster. And get out of here. Then we're going to Goblinburg. Activate the effect to special summon the Summoner Monk. And then special summon uh, a big guy for you, the Dark Rebellion XYZ Dragon. If these attacks all go through, we win. <laughs> Didn't Kaiba win against Joey in a pretty fair fight early on? Yeah, that was early on. It doesn't count before uh, Joey has like Jin Jinzo and shit. Come on. Is what? Joey's gonna beat Blue Eyes at Duelist Kingdom? Are you kidding me? Here we go. Uh, Stardust attack, 2,500. Don't trap me, baby. Don't trap me and I win. God damn it, no! <laughs> Fine! You think you're gonna compulse my ass? Think again, friend. You can't compulse a card that doesn't exist, you dumb fuck! Stardust goes to the graveyard. We're not winning this turn, but we're doing some massive damage. Assault mode comes out in his place. Fuck you. You trap is null and void, bitch. Get out of here. Stardust, uh, you attack. Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> nice try, friend! <laughs> nice try. I'll activate Assault Mode's effect, making your second trap in a row. Also, null and void. Get fucked, you boomer cuck. Uh, XYZ Dragon attack directly for 2,500. We could have won, but instead we're just gonna, <laughs> gonna keep on keeping on. We'll win next turn. Stardust Assault Mode comes back in attack position. Was a duel between Kaiba and Joey before the Battle City Finals Fair? I don't remember. <laughs> I honestly don't rem remember that duel even happening. And at the end of Battle City, Joey and Yugi started dueling, but we didn't get to see the end of it. I think Joey would have won that duel too, even against the Egyptian gods. Why not? Joey beat Merrick fair and square. He just collapsed in exhaustion before he could call the attack. Joey uh, is, is a great duelist. He, he fucking demolished Merrick and he was using Lava Golem and shit on him. Merrick only won because he was using mind shit to fuck up Joey's brain and he made him too weak to stand. 
Yugi barely beat Merrick. Joey beat him without even breaking a sweat. Instead, he broke his brain. <laughs> All right, two duels down. Go on to Bandit Keith, one that I usually lose at because he uses uh, <laughs> uh, pendulums, I think. Uh, this deck's not really built to fight against pendulums. It's a little too new age for us. Joey's a bull cell. He, had he fucked my, he would have won. I think he was saving his virginity for his sister Serenity. <laughs> I think that's canon. All right. Uh, we have a few options here. Let's... Let's summon Stardust and hope we can beat Bandit Keith before he pulls too many pendulum shenanigans. Sot, state of the Twitch. All right, here comes Stardust. And just in case Bandit Keith summons a bunch of big, strong shit, I'm gonna play, who should I play, Swords or Messenger of Peace? That's a good question. Hmm, that is a good question. Let's, uh, let's Messenger of Peace for now. Because if all goes well, we won't need Messenger of Peace later on. And we can destroy it for free whenever we want. Bring it on, Bandit Keith. I have spell and trap removal. It's called fucking Stardust Dragon Assault Mode. It's unlimited. <laughs> uh, pay the cost. Nah, it did its job. I just wanted to protect Stardust for one turn, and that's what we did. Here we go. Let's, let's attack. Ah, uh, no! Nice try, bitch! Stardust says no! Thank you! No, thank you! Out of here. All right, Rose, you could probably handle this on your own. I, I believe in you. <laughs> Give it a shot. Hey, rescue hamster. That's one of Sheepover's favorite cards because it's a hamster. Mm, just for fun, let's activate swords. Why not? We're going to fuck some shit up in the next three turns. I think we will win before swords runs out. So why not? Let's get Stardust back for free. Uh-oh, here come some pendulums. Not even trying to attack. I think we're going to win this one without even any pendulum bullshit coming out. Mirror Force, kind of useless against pendulums, huh? <laughs> All right, let's try this one again. Rose attack. Scrap Goblin. What? How many cannot be destroyed by battle at all? Cool. I guess we'll regeki him next turn then. Great. Oh, he's gonna destroy it himself. Uh, from your deck to the graveyard. And then destroy them. Yeah, that's fine. That seems fine, right? He just draws a card? Yeah, okay. I can get destroy that thing that I couldn't kill. Cool. What are you up to, Bandit Keith? You seem like a lot of shenanigans. Well, I don't think we're gonna win before Swords runs out anymore. Ah, come on! Here we go. Let's try that again. Get out of here. Finally, attack directly! Stardust Dragon, 2,500 big ones! Finally! Play a mountain quickly so you can use Pikachu. I think you're a little confused about the game. You don't have a phimosis of a chance this time. <laughs> wow, Keith really isn't uh, pulling out all the stops like he usually does. What's going on? What's going on, big guy? What's going on is I just won. Okay, we're going to Regeki. Get out of here. Get out of here. And nope. Stop. <laughs> Summon the Goblin Berg! But wait, there's more. Yes, there is a monster I can special summon. It's called my old friend, Red Dragon Archfiend. Here we go. 
If my math adds up correctly, and I believe it does, we're about to do 1,500, or 5,500, not 15. 5,500 big ones directly to Bandit Keith's life points. Here we go, Stardust attack for 25. And Red Dragon, let's finish him off. Too easy, Bandit Keith. You drew half your deck. How come you couldn't play any Pendulum shit? Let's go on to Bones. I bet he feels bonely. When did they increase the life points to 8,000? I thought it was 4,000. Uh, I think it was about 20 years ago. I don't know where you've been. Bones, you can go first. That's fine. One of your teeth was fucked or something? I don't know about that. I've got very normal teeth over here. I wouldn't say they're fucked. Compared to other YouTubers who I might have interacted with in the past, I probably have the nicest teeth of them all. Alright. If this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, it can attack again once in a row. Well. We... Have a couple options here. We could just mirror force through that shit. That's probably fine. Mm, do we want to go for summoning both of these guys and fucking shit up? Or do I want to use a salt beast ability, get the trap, and hope that we draw a tuner soon to use with Goblinburg to get out our big guy for you? That's the question of the day. Why are my things not popping up? Some, some, he just subscribed. Why did I not see it? Was it too quiet to, to hear? What's going on? I don't know. Thank you for the subscription. I don't know why my shit's not working now. Let's double check. Yeah, it's all enabled. First the bits weren't working, now this shit. Hopefully I didn't miss anything else. Okay. Oh, that's weird, but... We'll keep trucking along! Fuck it, we're just gonna use the trap. Everybody loves traps, folks! Everybody! Throw this bad boy face down. Uh, bring it on, we'll uh, mirror force you. Yes, give me more monsters to send to the graveyard. I love it. Here we go. Triple force mirror force, baby. Kaboom, kaboom, kaboom. You're done. Not even a trap. Not even a trap! There we go! The gambit paid off, baby! Hell yeah! Activate the effect of Goblinburg to summon Rose in attack position. But wait, there's more. There's a whole lot more where that came from. We'll summon the Stardust Dragon. <laughs> Let's go ahead and fuck some shit up. Bam. Attack directly for 2,500 big ones. Kaboom. But wait, there's more. Assault mode activate means you take another 3,000 damage, my friend. And I don't think you can uh, overcome this dragon with the three measly cards you're going to have in your hand next turn. Because he can cancel out any of them for free. <laughs> I'm so confident that I'm going to uh, hide behind some swords of revealing light. <laughs> That's how confident I am I am that nothing will go wrong. <laughs> Bring it on, Bones. You've got nothing. There's nothing you can do to stop this. You lose. You're done. This time we will win before the swords go away. Well, not if I don't draw a monster, huh? All right. Terminate his face down. Get out of here. We will win next turn by using Call of the Haunted to bring back our Stardust Dragon. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done, 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 done. You lose. I win. Goodbye. It's over. Another dark hole. Awesome. Attack. No. Not yet. Here we go. Let's win the duel. Call the Haunted, bring back Stardust Dragon to do the final 2,500 points. I think that's four duels down, folks. Hundreds to go. Finish him off.
Oh no, not darts. Darts is a darts is the one that gets my goat. I hate darts' deck in this game. Ah, and he's going first. Awesome. Oh no, I gotta go first. Great. Come on, we have a chance to get Stardust immediately. Let's not fuck this one up. Okay. We we got it. We got it. Let's throw down a Dark Bribe. That'll help us against darts. And Assault Mode Activate. And we will summon the Summoner Monk. Activate his ability. We'll throw the swords in the graveyard. Because darts doesn't usually concern me when it comes to attacking. We will bring out the Bree. Or Bri Synchron. Who knows? Who can really say? Darts more like farts. You're not wrong. His name was, is spelled with a Z because he's cool. You're right. He is very cool. Mm, we could go with the bl Blood Me Fist, because he always has a lot of shit on the field. But also, I want to just get out my superpower <laughs> monster card. Start a sta dragon in attack position, and we'll have Assault Mode next turn to cancel out his bullshit as often as possible. Maybe we stand a good chance. Yeah, he's, he's already... Gaining life points for free with his goddamn ladybug. Now go for it, fam. I say I don't like that card! Dark Bribe, draw a new one. I don't like that one. You gain too many life points with that shit. I just want to cancel out everything in Darts' deck. That's what I'm going to try to do with Stardust. God damn it, stuff. No, we're fine. I'll wait until I get an attack off before I use Assault Mode. We'll throw down a Mirror Force, summon a Rose. And let's try to attack and see what happens. Oh, we're going to get him? We're going to get him for some big points? Start us to attack directly? Ah, Okay. Target the attacking monster. You can't target a monster that doesn't exist, my friend! Assault mode activate! Stardust, get out of here. We're gonna bring out your, your big older brother, baby. Here we go. Assault mode. Yeah, your trap is null and void, my friend. Get out of here. Out of here. Attack directly for 3,000 big ones. Yeah, no trap that time, huh? All right, we're doing pretty good against starts right now. I think we stand a ghost of a chance. I hate that fucking card. I hate it. It's done. I can cancel out one of your cards every single turn, and I intend to. Get the fuck out of here, you human wind, humid wind bitch. Yeah, come on back, Stardust. He's down to four cards. What can he do? What can he possibly do? We've got him. We got him. He's done. <laughs> do I dare stop that card? It is slightly annoying. <laughs> uh, no, you, you can gain 500 points for now. Let's see what else he's got. Damn, I should have just done it. Because he didn't have anything else. Should have known. Summon the Bry Synchron. And we could summon an XYZ thing, but I think we'll do more damage just by having them. So, attack. And let's do 3,100 points of damage, meaning we will probably win next turn. Probably. And uh, Rose does an extra 300 big ones. You should have the chat help you build a deck. I guarantee you this deck will beat any deck that the chat hive minds together. <laughs> I guarantee you. Oh, you think you're going to activate that effect? Nice try, bitch. You're done. You're done. You got nothing else. I win darts. Let's finish him off. Let's go. Stardust attack. GG fam, even if you had a trap, you lost. Finish him off. 
Let's go. Let's go. Fuck you, darts. Fuck you. Let's go to Ishizu Ishtar. Oof. More like Oofishu Ooftar. That's right. Yeah, I'm going to cover up your rock. Let's go first. I would pick all Exodia cards. Well, CJ, he might have a good point. If this deck was Exodia, maybe I would win more. <laughs> All right, we got a pretty brick hand, so we're going to go for Neospatian. Overcome this, Ishizu, if that is your real name. Oh, yeah, she just uses a million spellbook spell cards. I don't have any idea what the fuck she's trying to do half the time. I just let it go until I get to attack. Okay. Yeah, we get it. Just keep playing that shit. I don't know what it does. I don't care. I don't care what it does. Just keep going. All Exodia, all nor normal monsters except Heart of the Underdog. Yeah, that's a good deck. That's great. Pop us both back into our hands. That's right. That's how Neo Spatian works, baby. Spellbook is so convoluted, yeah. That's how I, f I feel like it's pretty convoluted right now. Let's go for Rose Tico, everybody's favorite Star Wars character. Because I don't want that trap to destroy my poor Grand Mole. Let's let it destroy Rose instead. Attack directly for 1,900 points of damage. Whoa, it went through without a... Cinch? Is that the expression? I don't know. It went through. More spellbook garbage. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like somebody's getting powered up. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Goodbye, Rose Tico. You'll save Star Wars Episode Nine one day. Without a hitch. Not a cinch. That doesn't make any sense. You're right. Oh, where'd her monster go? I wasn't paying attention. I was drinking my LaCroix. <laughs> All right, I guess now that we know the trap doesn't do shit, we can summon Grand Mole. So that the same shit that happened last turn does not happen again. Grand Mole attack for 900. Rose is a trap. Deepest lore. Ooh. Was that the first uh, transgender, transgender interracial kiss in cinema history? When she kissed the black guy? Could be. In, in the history of cinema, I mean. I'm sure it happens in real life a lot. <laughs> Come on, what are you doing with all these spell books and shit? I don't get it. What are you doing? Banish one card your opponent controls? I don't like that at all. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? No! No, Grand Mole, come back! No, not again! That's fucking bullshit! You don't get to do that again! Oh, God, no. Stop! Stop the presses. Stop the depression. More shit? What are you fucking doing, bitch? Stop it! Oh! Oh, the humanity. She just keeps going. It never ends. All right. All right. Let's give her a taste of her own medicine, folks. I don't know how. Let's just hope that some of this shit works. Goblinberg, activate his effect to pull out Top Runner. Now, who are we going to summon to get us out of this one? Good question. Who can save the day? Blood Mephist and he just hangs out? I don't know. Maybe. Could summon Red Hot Dragon Archfiend to destroy all of her monsters in one fell swoop. That's really only useful for the one turn. Stardust is too weak to fight 2600 attack. XYZ Dragon could get really strong, but then I have to trust that both of her face downs don't do shit. Well. This bitch was special summoned, right? Yeah, so we can always absorb it and then. Yeah, okay. That'll. When in doubt. Go for, go for the cheap boy. 101. He's cheap, but he works. I guess. Good 
because then even if something goes wrong, he stays on the field. Because of his- Ah! No! No! Oh shit. Well, okay, he survives, but now I can't absorb his fucking- Ah! Oof! Oof dot goof! We're in some real trouble here, folks. I think she's got us. Oof! Well, it doesn't matter what monster I would have summoned. It would have been destroyed anyway. We never stood a ghost of a chance. Ugh. I hate these spellbook cucks! Ah! At least she didn't attack me again. Jerry Beans Man was a spokes uh, man for Subway? I believe it. Alright, Regeki, you're our only hope. Fuck him up. Ah! Come on! What? What? Ah! Oh, no! No! That was our only hope. Ah! Uh-oh. No! No, we lose! Perfect! Ah! Well. You can't win them all. And that, that is the end of the Iron Man run. You have to start over again. Fuck me. Here we go again. Uh, let's, uh, let's start off with Grand Mole. We could summon Stardust thanks to Summoner Monk, but we're up against Buster Blader, so <laughs> I think Grand Mole is a good start. Ban anyone in chat losing weight. <laughs> yeah, so, draw two Buster Bladers. You could really use more in your hand. How do you play Yu-Gi-Oh? Do the opposite of what Monkey does? Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Let's do it. Let's summon Stardust. I'm ready. I'm ready. Summoner Monk's ability. We'll get rid of Dark Hole. To fish out, I guess, a top runner. Start us because I think he'll be he'll be able to protect us from those face down traps. Here we go. Let's grand mole that shit back to his hand. And attack directly for 2,500 big ones. Uh oh. Uh oh. You confuse my dragon, you piece of shit. <laughs> Where? How's that fair? <laughs> Fuck you. Oh, you're getting Grand Mold next turn, you son of a bitch. You salty Susan, you. You better believe you're getting Grand Mold next turn. Ah! No! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh God! Ah! Oh. <laughs> what? He can't attack? What's the deal? Yeah, why didn't he attack? I don't know. I guess swords will help us out. Guess who's getting grand mold, bitch? I don't know why you didn't attack, but you should have. Probably something to do with your bullshit effects. Go back to your, go back to your uh, extra deck. Out of here with that shit. You really thought that would last? No. No attacks from you. You really gold sarcophagus to fucking <laughs> upstart goblin? What are you doing? Why? You're that desperate to give me free shit? Cool. Good job. If only I had another Neospatian attack! 
Or mere force, but you're not attacking anytime soon. I guess we'll just do some damage, baby. You're gonna put that weak shit in attack position, you're gonna pay for it. What? Oh, great. That guy again? Fine, I'll Neospatian him next turn, again! The fusion can't attack directly, I see. You got a lot of Neospatian fun coming your way, fam. And Mirror Force, too. <laughs> Just you wait. Yeah, there's your upstart goblin you needed so desperately. You pathetic fuck. Uh, yeah, let's just kneel space in that fusion. I don't like the looks of him. Back to the extra deck with you again, my friend. Out of here is where you're getting. No more swords, but that's okay, because we have mere force on the way. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> yeah, let's activate some uh, assault beast. I'll save you for a rainy day. Let's get that Buster Blader back where he belongs, in the hand. You have to understand. Back with you. Adios. Here we go. Oh, you got me. Your move. Childish Goblino. <laughs> yeah, keep doing shit, I don't care. Keep it coming, I don't care. You could do shit all day. I'll Neospatian in every single one of your tricks. Summon that guy again. It's going back to the extra deck before- No, it's gonna get destroyed with Mirror Force. You can't do a fucking thing. You can't do nothing. Absolutely nothing. Put your guy in attack position, I dare you. You dumb fuck. You stupid bitch. Death. Death arrives. You're done. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do what the people have been waiting for. Summoner Monk. Which allows us to pull out the Stardust Dragon. All out of cards, huh, buddy boy? What could your face down possibly be? Torrential Tribute? Doesn't look like it. Attack directly for 2,500 big ones. But wait, there's more! Assault mode, activate! Assault mode, activate! To summon. My greatest beast! Attack directly for 3,000 big ones! Kaboomy, you done! You lose! It's GG, fam! You can't do nothing anymore, you lost! You can't dark hole this card, you dumb fuck! Thanks for playing, it's been fun. Out of here is where you're going. And you're done. You lose. When you only have one card to your name and it's my turn and I have assault mode, you can't win. You lose. A uh, Grand Mole, you've done so much work for us this duel, I think you deserve the final blow. Let's do it. Knock him out. You're done. Arcana, let's go. More Dark Magician shenanigans. Well. Hey, you gotta go first. Not a bad hand at all. Let's go Mirror Force and Dark Bribe face down and summon a Stardust Dragon to stare him down. How is this game fucked by Konami? What did I miss? I really like this game. I don't see any problem with it.
This was your favorite shit on the gaming channel when it still existed. Well, now you gotta watch it live and interact with the show. Isn't that better? Isn't that better? General Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG Legacy of the Duelist is fine. Well, <laughs> what's the problem then? <laughs> yeah, go for it. I don't actually think the Iron Man is possible with this deck, but that's why it's fun. <laughs> because uh, I'm not gonna... Wait, does this fucking guy in the, in the chat want me to build, like, the ultimate pendulum deck that wins every time, no matter what? It's so fucking boring. I like having the, the deck that is not perfect and trying to win with that. If you want to watch a flawless player, <laughs> there are plenty of other streams you can be watching, my friend. <laughs> so many more. Uh-oh. If only I could dark bribe that bullshit. Nice try. That is the, the one way to get rid of Stardust, but not today. Y'all move. Uh, I think we will start us that. Yeah, good call, me. What a brilliant maneuver. See, Skumpke gets it. He says he likes watching me fail. That's why, literally why we're all here. <laughs> Who wants to watch Monkey win at anything? <laughs> Monkey's story is the one of complete and utter failure over and over and over and over again. <laughs> mirror Force, nice try, bitch. You're not gonna Mirror Force a Stardust Dragon. Not today. Will you ever play Mega Man Battle Network again? I imagine so. Life is long. <laughs> I'm only 23. I, I'm sure at some point in my life I will play it again and probably uh, play it for you guys to watch. Why not? Skumkey must have liked the month of December if he likes seeing Monkey fail. Oh, I bet it was his favorite month. <laughs> I bet he was jerking off on uh, December 11th. <laughs> he couldn't come enough times on that day. <laughs> Shit was so cash. <laughs> yeah. All right, Stardust attack. Finally, we're doing some damage. I don't think we can defeat his other face down with our top runner, but we'll give it a shot. Never forget 12-11, yeah. The worst thing to ever happen on the 11th day of a month. Here we go. Yeah, I didn't think that was gonna work. Ah, uh, we could just assault mode that shit, though. Sure, let's do it. Here we go. You lose the card. You lose colon the card. As in this card says you lose. Bring it on. How would you feel if I told you there's a new one card combo that makes Stardust love mode? Is the word assault blocked or did, is it really called love mode? No, they blocked out the word assault? What the fuck? Auto mod, what are you doing? Uh, one card combo to summon assault mode? That sounds like fun. Is it in this game? Because I'd like to add it to my deck if it is. Uh, let's go. This is fine. Yeah, this is fine. We'll do 4,100 points of damage. It's a brand new card. Well, probably not going to get it in this game then. You're gonna try to call the haunted after I attack with assault mode? Nice try, friend. Say goodbye. Stardust dragon love mode sounds hype. Yeah, destroy you with the power of love. I can only imagine what it would do. Maybe it's a hand trap that specifically 
destroys uh, Stardust Dragon Assault Mode, and that's it. So it's like you you keep it in your uh, in your side deck just in case you're up against somebody like me. You know what? You have so few cards in your hand, it does not hurt to say fuck you to any random card now. Because we can for free. It costs us nothing. Yeah, you're done. Two duels down. Hundreds to go. In the Monkey Jones Iron Man Challenge. Oh, I forgot I saw it to attack again. <laughs> oh, let's lose the bandit Keith and call it a night. What do you guys say? <laughs> I think he's gonna get us. Uh-oh. This is not looking good. Uh-oh. This, this ain't looking too good, folks. This ain't looking too good. <laughs> Oof. Ain't looking too good. All right, we can we'll get rid of Messenger of Peace. I think we'll summon the Summoner Monk. Activate his ability to get rid of Messenger of Peace to pull out, I suppose, the top runner. Which allows us to special summon, but wait, there's more, the Stardust Dragon. All right, fuck up his monster, unless it's the one that does not get destroyed by battle. Uh-oh, of course it fucking is. That's why we held on to Regeki. Saw that one coming. Instant loss, can't beat America. No, Bandit Keith was revealed to actually be Canadian. How could you forget that plot twist? Uh-huh, uh-oh. I'm not liking these odds here. Okay. Ah. Uh, Thank you. Thank you for the indestructible card, I guess. And wait, and now you're attacking it? I thought he couldn't be destroyed by a battle. What's going on here? What the fuck is happening? What? Whatever, I don't care. I don't give a shit. All right. Yeah, we're, I think we're pretty good here. So many different things we could do. What will cause the most catastrophic damage, folks? That's my question. Could summon, uh... Well, let's see if they have any effects when they get destroyed. Maybe I'll just Regeki them. Uh, oh, no, he doesn't. Okay. Well, then, let's... Tin Goldfish. There's probably a better maneuver I could do, but let's just do this for now. Activate his effect to summon Goblinberg. You could false copy strike them. Yeah, that'd be pretty good too. Then we will summon the XYZ Dragon. Because we can just make him all big and powerful and cool. Activate his effect to absorb your monster's attack points, making him super special, awesomely strong. But wait, there's more. Let's regeki that shit. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. No, no, don't do anything. I was gonna attack. No, stop it. No, I didn't agree to this. Whatever. 1200, huh? Do we want to... Well, I was going to do that to do extra damage, but we can save that for a rainy day. Here we go. Stardust attack. 
Go. Let me guess, when I destroy this, it's gonna special summon more fucking shit. I can't wait. Oh, okay, attack directly for almost half of his points. Get out of here. Kaboom. Kaboomy zoomy. Uh-oh, pendulums, here they come. Oh, God, no, I'm not ready. No, 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 calm down. What's he summoning? I'm not ready for this. My worst nightmare come to life. Oh, it's just scrap beast in defense mode. If it's targeted for an attack, destroy this card. That seems kind of lame. Uh, what's your end game here? What are you doing? Okay. Okay. Yeah, keep it coming. This is fun. We're all having fun here. Figure out what you're doing. Okay. Okay. Now what? Okay. You gonna attack? I really, really hope you do attack with that scrap dragon. I really do. Nope. Defense mode. What a fucking pussy. Okay. Your turn's over. It's been fun. Cannot be destroyed by battle, but it's an attack position, so I guess I win. Did you, did you fuck up? Uh, I've selected. All right. So, can I do this? Oh, uh, okay, so I, I won. Fucking moron. Stupid asshole. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, well, let's move on to Bones. <laughs> and he beat me with... No, no, I beat him, and he had his Bones. All right, shitty hand. He fucked his own ass. Nice. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing. What was he thinking on that one? Well, we got a lot of swords we can play with, but we also have a scrap iron. Hopefully he doesn't summon a shit ton of monsters. What the fuck was all that shit about? Good question, CJ. I try not to even learn. I try not to bother. Yeah, go for it. Let's block his attack. Well, not quite what I was hoping for, but we can still summon some good shit. So let's do it. Let's go for uh, Silent Honor Arc because I think he's going to try to summon a bunch of uh, rituals and stuff. And Ark can absorb them if it hasn't been cucked. Let's give it a shot. I don't reckon there will be a cuckening anytime soon, so let's attack and do 300 damage. Your move. Great. Hey, just enough to knock you out. We'll just destroy every card in his deck, slowly but surely. Hey, Grand Mole, welcome to the party. <laughs> But I think I want to destroy his face down. Yeah, let's get that bad boy in the graveyard so we can't use it. Who do you think you're attacking with that? Oh, you're gonna summon that big boy? Uh-oh, he is gonna summon that big boy, or so he thinks. You better have another one of those handy. Maybe you'll draw it right now. 
Uh-oh. Here he comes. Uh-oh. Uh, Ark, hang on, buddy. Hang on, buddy. Ah, the apocalypse has come. Ah, hang on, buddy. You're gonna be okay. Ah, no, he's <laughs> Fucking idiot, why didn't you just attack that time? Why didn't you just attack? Why'd you take another 2,000 points of damage? I could stall for years, dude. I got swords. You could have destroyed the swords. <laughs> what are you gonna do, Bones? You're all out of points. You lost. <laughs> stupid, stupid attack. I'll just summon Top Runner. What are you gonna do about it? Hit me. I dare you. Uh, what? What are you summoning? Cosmo Queen? Come on. Come on now. Alright, we win. It's been fun. Etc. Summon the Assault Beast. And just for fun, let's win with the... I guess this guy? Destroy all other face-up attack position monsters on the field. Sure, let's go with some Red Hot Dragon Archfiend. Just for a little bit of variety. Could have summoned our XYZ Dragon Man, but this seems like more fun. Finish him off! He did 6,000 damage to himself. <laughs> Get fucked. Yeah, let's lose the darts now. Looking forward to this one. Oh! To never beat darts and rock, paper, scissors. But he doesn't like going first, it looks like. Special summon jumpy to break bones. That is a great suggestion. Not a good hand. Monkey is an NPC, that is true. That is true. Grand Mole, take the stand. You will surely win the duel for us. Oh boy, here he's he's starting. He's starting all right. All right, assault beast, do your magic. We need to get our assault mode out ASAP, otherwise I think we're in the world of hurt. Burger man bad. Uh, I guess grand mole attack. Mm, let's try to destroy that bad boy. Yeah, get out of here. What? While his face up on the field. Whatever, go back to your hand then, bitch. Am I reading that right? This card is flipped face up. It cannot be destroyed by battle while it is face up on the field. This card is flipped face up during each end phase. Oh, fuck off. No, oh, I know, I canceled the entire attack! I just wanted to read it! Ah! Oh! Fuck! Stupid. I'm pretty stupid. Ah! <laughs> Stop! Fucking hate darts. Yeah, here it comes. Yeah, just destroy all my fucking shit for free, bitch! Uh oh. Uh, it would sure would suck if I had a mirror force, you cuck. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here, all of you. Yeah, gain more points. That's what you needed, was more points. If you gain life points, destroy an opponent's monster. What fucking horseshit. What fucking garbage horseshit. It's such bullshit. <laughs> through and through. Alright. We want to get out Assault Mode. If we summon Top Runner, he's going to destroy it with his thing. But we can get out Assault Mode in one fell swoop next turn. So let's just not do anything. Your neighbors are arguing.
I don't have a monster to destroy. What are you doing? That's it. You got nothing? Fun. Here we go. Call the haunted. To bring out the assault beast. I think we might still have this one, boys. We might stand a ghost of a chance. Because we are going to special summon the Stardust Dragon. I'm sorry your parents are fighting a room over. Does he call his parents his neighbors, Skumkey? Is that, is that what's going on here? Here we go. Here we go. Stardust Dragon attacked directly for 2,500 big ones. But wait, there's more. You thought we were all tied up? Think again. Assault mode activate. To bring out the guy who will hopefully stop all of your horse shit dead in its tracks. It's a drug dealer and his GF. I wish I had popcorn. Go get some popcorn. Who doesn't have popcorn in the pantry? Your move, darts. Can you stop the greatest dragon of them all? Oh, oops. Did I ac accidentally destroy your bullshit card with my bullshit card? See how you like it. Dead. As in, you're going to drop dead when I'm through with you. Come on back, Assault Mode. You had Russian Mafia members and rednecks argue in your street and it ended in a gunfight? Sounds like you live on a great street. That sounds like fun. Alright, Rose, Tico, let's see what you can do. You can destroy the patriarchy. You're a strong woman. Ooh, I do want to... Do I want to do 3,000 damage or destroy that stupid fucking Aroma Garden? I want to destroy all of his cards one by one because I hate every single one of them. So let's just do that for now. Get the fuck out of here. I will destroy everything you love. Card by card. That's what we're going to do. That's nothing. I live in Mexico. You should get the hell out of there. Oh no, not Dried Winds again. If only I had some sort of magical card that would destroy it instantly. Get the fuck out of here. Darts, I'm tired of this shit. Not today, my friend. Not today. Yeah, Terraform. Oh, oh, you're gonna bring that out again. Oh, if only I could destroy it easily. You're done. You're done. Every single turn, I will destroy your shit. Every single turn. You will not do this today. What up, Venezuela? Yeah, you should move to Venezuela. I think they have a great leadership over there. <laughs> the leaders know what they're doing. They're very tough and brave. All right. Let's go. Attack. Kaboom. Kaboom. kaboom a -foo, I say. GG fam, you lose. You're done. Get the fuck out. You lose. Bitch. Some guy in the chat thought I was, it was game. I was going to lose. No. And now we're going to beat Ishizu to make up for us losing to her earlier. This is uh, the farthest we've made it today. We have to beat Ishizu. Going first is a good start. All right. Maybe one day I'll draw Goblinburg and a tuner at the same time. But today is not that day. We've got lots of fun traps to play with, though. Okay. I really like all of these. And we'll just uh, end our turn, I, I guess. I don't know. Play a thousand spell books. I dare you. Injustice of Prophecy. Spell book of power. Yeah, I've seen this one before. We're not going to mirror force you quite yet. We'll use a scrap iron instead. This episode of Monkey Jones Legacy of the Duelist was pre-recorded in front of a live studio audience. I mean, if you're watching it in the future, then maybe. This is in front of a live audience, I suppose. <laughs> and all the in-studio audience laughter is at my expense rather than at the things I'm saying. Well, we somehow have not drawn a second monster, so maybe Goblinberg will just have to attack on his own? Or should we save it for a rainy day? Whatever. 
Don't worry, Ishizu. We're really good at stalling over here on Team Monkey. No matter how many spell books you play. Scumkashi. Yeah, that'll be a character in Season 2 to replace Killer B. You know what's funny is that in Mumkashi Chronicles, Asperger's character famously beat the shit out of his wife and killed her. <laughs> so, uh, really, truly prophetic writing on my part. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, you special summoned your bullshit, whatever. I don't care. Hey, no, I do care. Don't do that shit again. Hey, you're lucky I have two of these. Get out of here. Damn it, I wanted to use both of them. Die. Yeah, you know, all those spell books. Oh no, it's bringing it back. No! No! Ah! Damn you! Come on! Give me a fucking monster! You piece of shit deck! You suck more dick than me! Dark hole, this bullshit. Get the fuck out of here! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, God. Just give me another fucking monster. The deck is majority monsters. Hook a brother up. No, I've never played any Metal Gear Solid game other than Smash Bros. <laughs> Does that count? Finally! Thank God! We'll summon the Goblinberg and activate his ability to special summon the top runner, which allows us, but wait, there's more, to special summon the Stardust Dragon. Finally! Finally! Let's go! Yeah, yeah. Get out of here. Only took seven turns to draw a second monster. Yeah. Yep. All right, let's see how you destroy my Stardust without even trying with all your spell books. You've gone through half your deck. Come on. I've got a bad feeling about this, folks. I got a bad, bad feeling. <laughs> oh, what is she doing? Powered it up to. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Why is it so confusing? My turn, really? Okay. I'll take it. Uh, yeah, Grand Mole, let's go. Grand Mole attack for 900 points. Ah, not today, fam. Not today. Stardust, say no thank you to that mirror force. Okay. We're holding on okay. I'm not sure what her, her strategy plan is right now, but it's probably no good. Yeah, just keep playing the same fucking spell book over and over again, you bitch. Okay, special summon that one, and I think its ability destroys my shit. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, you got another one? Oof. Not good. Whoa! Unexpected! What are you doing? Who will this be? Big I? I'm not familiar. Let's return, destroy, uh, take control. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I was hoping it would be destroyed so Stardust could stop you. I think she's got us. What the fuck? Stop! You're doing enough! 
Oh, God, stop! You've done enough this fucking turn, you bitch! Stop! Oh, God! Uh, no, we're good. We're good. I think we're okay. I'll summon the Summoner Monk and use his ability to send the dark door to a dark place. I hope this fucking works. Uh, we'll get out Rose Tico. Everybody's favorite Star Wars character. But wait, there's more. We can special summon Red Hot Dragon Archfiend. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Well, we could always absorb... No, because both of these guys are way too fucking strong to exist. We just have to hope that this works. Red Hot Dragon Archfiend will save the day! No, not Dark Rebellion. We want to destroy everything in one fell swoop. But we have to hide Stardust in defense mode for this to work. Alright, don't let it down. Do it. Go! Fuck you! Fuck you! Kaboom! Attack directly! And no trap. There you go, we did it. Rose Tico can go die in a fucking pit. If JJ knows what he's doing, that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> Alright, what are you gonna do now? Ah, oh, Stardust! Oh, you died too young. Tragedy. But we still got this. Activate the effect again. Destroy, attack. We got you, bitch. We got you. What are you gonna do? You're done. Well, we're not gonna win yet, but we're getting close. Maybe she'll deck out before I even get an attacker again. <laughs> Go for it, fam. I don't care anymore. I don't even know what you're doing. I don't care. Alright, two traps. That's suspicious. They, I, I think you only drew one card. Ten goldfish is not enough to do anything. Well, let's just attack and see what happens. Okay, dimensional prison. That's cute. Gonna have to go ahead and dark bribe that bad boy, help you deck out faster. You clacking the controller like it's a fighting game. Yeah, well, what are you gonna do? Alright. Alright, your move again, Ishizu. More spell books. Uh, okay, you're gonna try to overpower me. I see what you're doing here. Okay, bring it on. Let's see if you can handle the power of mere force. God damn it, you bitch! You bitch! Fine, fine, destroy my guy. I didn't need him anyway. He sucks. Fuck me. Fuck. Come on, stop it! I hate these spell books! More? Really? You're gonna play more? You're just gonna keep playing them until you deck out. Yeah, just keep playing more, that's fine. 3,100 points. Okay, we can beat this. We can win this turn. I'll summon the Tin Gold Fish and activate his ability to special summon the Assault Beast. And if this attack goes through, we win. If it fails, then we lose. Such is life. We're gonna go for the uh, XYZ Dragon. Try to go for one big super mega attack. Maybe you should get good. What's the fun in that? 
I must have been believing the heart of the cards. Yeah, it's something like that. Activate his effect. Detach these two to steal your monster's attack points. So if this attack goes through, you take 2,500 points of damage. No whammies, no whammies, big money, and stop! Oh! Ishizu goes down for the count! You done, son. Let's go on to Joey Wheeler. We did it. We got over the, the top row hump. Welcome to row number two. Let's cut Joey's cock in half and go first. Can Joey beat the power of my dragons, folks? Methinks not! Just for funsies, let's throw down two mirror forces and summon Stardust Dragon on our first turn. I think that sounds great! Goblinburg in attack position, but wait, there's more! Special summon Rose Tico, everybody's favorite Star Wars character, folks! Here we go. What, what are you gonna do, Joey? Summon Red Eyes? I'm so scared. Dragon on dragon action. Kuna with chain. Hell yeah. Hey, you. I just boinked my sister. <laughs> like my YouTube idol, Monkey Joe. I can't do a Joey Brooklyn accent. I can't do any accent. You should know better than this. The Tom Wizard. <laughs> Ah, he is gonna summon a Jinzo. Oh, Jinzo Lord, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Don't let him do it! Ah, stop it! Too many Jinzos, stop it! Fuck! Fuck! I'm gonna lose to fucking Joey! Shit! Fuck me! God damn it! Fuck! Ah, oh, God. Okay, we're fine. Time Wizard to reverse her age. Why are you using the E-Rich emoji for that? <laughs> I don't think E-Rich would appreciate that. Uh, should we go for XYZ Dragon Man? I think we should. Let's go. Dark Rebellion Dragon. Back to wreak more havoc. Let's power down that Jinzo Lord and destroy his shit. And my two mirror forces will come back in the game. Will the AI remember what they are? Isn't that the question of the day? So here's the thing. I fucking hate Kaiba Corp. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, you. Destroying my stardust. How dare you. Is that a Joey Wheeler? Uh... Emoji thing in the Whoa Dark Hole! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Hey! No! I can't come back from this! You fuck! We're gonna lose to Joey. Fucking Jinzo deck. God damn it. Dark hole. Oh, uh, we lost. We lost. Whoa! Okay, never mind. We didn't lose yet. We didn't lose yet, okay. Assault Beast, I guess you could actually fight for once. Good thing that Jinzo died. Fuck him up. Joey's actually kicking our ass pretty good. You're a fourth-rate duelist with a fifth-rate deck. Losing against your favorite card. We, we haven't lost yet. Two Assault Beasts? Why not? Mmm, or we could go for... Do we think we're gonna draw a tuner soon? No, we don't. That would be lucky and good. I don't think anything lucky or good will ever happen. <laughs> ah! Alright, we can handle that. Instead of letting him blow us up, let's just summon a new monster. Like, uh... You, let's summon the Ark. Ark don't give a shit. Screw the rules, I have monkey money! Oh, oh! Oh, oh! Yeah, Joey, let's see what you do against Silent Honor Ark. You're all out of cards. You're done. Hmm, Raigeki. Don't mind if I do. Why not? Let's just do it. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> I may have spoken too soon. <laughs> Let's absorb that Jinzo since he was special some. That means he's not returning again anytime soon. He's stuck with us now. And attack directly for 2,100 big ones. Yar move, Wheeler. No more Jinzo bullshit today. No more. Don't say Joey's done for. It's what powers his top decks. Uh, let's see what he can do. Let's see if he can stop my direct attack to win the duel. Hey, oh, let's go. Hey, oh, let's go to my. Uh oh, my's a toughie. I gotta go pee. I'll be right back, folks. Don't miss me too much. I hope we only lose 50 watchers. Oh, we only gained viewers while I took a piss. I guess uh, me doing nothing <laughs> is more interesting to you people than Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> At least Quentin has a YouTube channel. What are you fuckers talking about in here? <laughs> what are you talking about in here? That's enough. Piss more, yeah. Ah, uh, great. Mai's gonna let us go first. Maybe we stand a ghost of a chance. Let's summon Stardust in the first turn and Assault Mode. Ah, uh, Stardust is uh, close enough. Throw down a mirror force and a scrap iron and summon the Stardust Dragon! A bunch of piss fetishes. You can't see me peeing. Is it just the concept that I'm in the other room doing it is what gets you off? Jumpkey said the N word. Oh, Jumpkey. Come on. Did Everidge teach that to you? Markiplier is 5'5, five five, which makes him taller than Monkey will ever be. How dare you? All right, Mai, I can't wait to see you destroy everything with your harpy bullshit. I'm looking forward to it. Uh-oh, right off the bat with the harpy's hunting ground. Oh, God. No! I refuse to let my shit be destroyed. Stardust, go to the graveyard so I can take a direct hit. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm eight foot 11. No, I'm, uh, you wanna know how tall I am? I'm 6'6", six, six, and that's two separate measurements. Uh, I learned that one from Wings of Redemption. Uh-oh. Well, you targeted one of them, but I still have the other baby. Scrap iron that shit. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, hey, let's get Stardust back. This Chidori guy doesn't seem like he's very fun. All right, what exactly do you do? Once per turn, you can detach one XYZ material, then target one face-up monster card your opponent control. Okay. But what's this about? Set card? 
Oh, I thought you had something that stopped my attack. Maybe that was something else. What am I... Did I make that up? Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll throw down Call of the Haunted just in case and uh, Neo Space and that shit back to where it belongs. Off the field. Neo Space and do your thing. Attack. Get the fuck out of here, you Chidori bitch. Attack directly. 2,500 big ones. Fuck you, Mai. You got shit. You ain't got shit on me. Dark hole on a stardust. I almost clicked on the wrong activation. Yeah, get out of here, dark hole. Hysteric party. When this, uh... Special summon as many copies of Harpy Lady as possible from your graveyard. When this face-up card leaves the field, destroy those monsters. Okay. Great. You're gonna summon that Chidori shit again? Ah. Man, not much I can do about it. I'll just Grand Mole you again! I don't care! Destroy my scrap! Uh-oh. Whatever. Chidori would have been a, a better bet for you, bitch. Yeah. Okay. Let's... Well, I guess we'll take... Mm. What should we do? Should we just take the hit? Let's just take the hit. Oh, no! You did 1,400 points! Video Game Monkey. That's right. That's what my Twitch channel should have been called. Even though I only play video games on here like once a month. <laughs> yeah, let's get Stardust back. Alright, Grand Mole. <laughs> Ark might be able to resist being destroyed twice, but he can't stop being bounced around like a ragdoll. Let's do it. Grand Mole, fuck him up. No. Yeah, I hope it was worth it, buddy. Does my question your fidelity to sheep? Ah, uh, she makes me question it, yeah. Alright, your move. Oh, you got nothing? That means you're about to get Grand Mold. You're about to get endgamed. I think we win. I think we just won. Here we go. Grand Mold. Fuck him up. Bounce him all around. No, not yet. Give her the bounce. We'll attack directly for 2,500. But wait, there's more. Oh, you got just enough to lose, baby. Call of the Haunted to bring out Rose Tico, everybody's favorite Star Wars character. Attack directly for the win, Rose. GG fam, GG. Let's move on. Let's go to Mako Tsunami. Quaking Mirror Force. Never heard of that one. Well, Mako, you can go first, that's okay. Yeah, makes me feel better when I give them permission. <laughs> oh, not a great opening hand, especially when you're going second, but what are you gonna do? Oh, Gish Keys! No, I hate the Gish Keys! Oh, why did he go first? <laughs> oh, Gish Keys, Gish Keys are fucked. Oh. Okay. Come on, give give me something good here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is a oof sandwich over here. Let's activate swords. <laughs> okay, we can defeat that. The question is, do we want to? Natalia, what a name. Sounds like a Russian whore. Let's give it a shot, Goblinberg. We're not gonna use your ability for the first time ever. Let's just 
What? No, I don't want to check the field. Attack. Let's uh, see if we can bait one of those traps out. Yeah, compulse. Fine. Better you do it to him than to Stardust. I would have been pissed. Your move, Mako. Oh boy, here it comes. Here it comes. What does this bad dad do? Once per turn, you can pay a thousand points. Let me read it at least. Come on. Yeah, let me let me see what's going on here. Draw one card. If you do, reveal it. Then, if it was a Gishki monster, shuffle it one card from the field to the deck. I'm guessing that'll be one of my cards. Great. Level 10 or higher monsters in the field cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects. If a level 10 or higher monster on the field destroys a monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, the player... Some fucked. I can't beat this. I can't fucking beat that guy. <laughs> what am I supposed to fucking do? I can't target him. I have to just beat him in attack points. There's nothing I can do. I can't beat that. Ah. I can't target him. With card effects? What the fuck can I do? Who else has never watched or played Yu-Gi-Oh? Well, thanks for the bits, Nico. But, you know, he can't be targeted or destroyed. Do I have a card effect that doesn't destroy or target? Target one face up. Great. Target. Awesome. Uh, this doesn't target. Red Hot Dragon, but he destroys. Fuck. Me. Fuck. Me. All of them fucking target. Ugh. Fuck. And that's a big oof, folks. That's a big fucking oof. How would I get around this? There's no way. He... Needs to summon another monster that is not level 10. I could target it with my XYZ dragon to boost him, and then he'll be strong enough to attack and destroy you. Okay. Because I, I can't even use Mirror Force to stop him from attacking. So, let's just end it. I think he's got us. It's going to take a really special scenario to stop this one monster. Okay, he drew a Gishki, so yep, there goes that. Yeah, let him get another one. I'm sure he could use the, the extra power. Gishkis, man. Can't live with them, can't live without them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever, hit me. <laughs> Oof. Big oof. No, stay on the field. I needed you on the field, you bitch. Oh, fuck off. I needed you on the field. That was the only way. It was the only fucking way. Oh. God damn it. That was the only fucking way. Okay. Now Scarecrow targets. I can't fucking stop him. You bitch. You fucking bitch. I'll play Swords, and then if he draws a Gishki with his effect, Swords is gone and I lose. Damn it. Why does everything have to target? Let's see. We can we can hold on. We can hold on. Activate swords. And goblin bird. We can stall and hope for the best. I don't think we can win. 
Alright. Here we go. We can get Silent Honor Arc. So if he gets his Gishki bullshit effect, he can either destroy Arc or Swords, but not both. But not both. Alright, your move, Mako. If that is your real name. Yeah, another Aquamir. Great. Get two of these bad boys out. Looks like a Gishki to me. Yep. Okay. Oh, is he gonna do it again? Oh my god. <laughs> Is he summoning the same guy again? Awesome. So now he, if he does it again and gets rid of swords, he just wins, which I guess is whatever. Yeah, draw another Gishki and win. Just had to be a fucking Gishki. Of course it did. Couldn't have let me stand a chance. Yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, I didn't do fucking shit. Okay, we lost again. Oh well. That's the stream for today, folks. That's the stream. It's okay. We'll win one of these days. Alright. Well, what are you gonna do? He's got the better gimmick than me. Uh, I'm gonna go eat dinner. Those nuggies did not fill me up. I'll see you guys next time.